Go. Okay. Welcome, class, to the first ever Yay Math episode filmed with the Math Magician makeup. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, today we'll be doing secants and tangents for circles. Oh, iPhone. Strike the pose. Hi. Okay, now everyone together. Yay Math! Yay Math! Good job. All right. Oh yeah. This thing won't. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll have a lot of fun with this. Okay, so, and again, I'm gonna wear this all day. Like in the faculty office. Dear Mrs. So and So, I have eye makeup on right now. Okay, so. Before we talked about inscribed angles, now let's talk about a situation that goes like this. Okay. Notice, is this, are these angles in here? Angle one, for example. Is angle one a central angle? No. no. Is angle one an inscribed angle? No. no, right? Inscribed angles, again, emanate from the edges, right? Are there any inscribed angles in this picture as of now? No, no they're not. Okay. So right now, we don't know any rules involving angle one and any of these arcs. But in fact, there are rules. There are rules. <laughs> and it goes like this. Angle one has a relationship with those two arcs, right? And we're gonna do that relationship right now. Uh, what do you wanna call this one? Okay, I'll make a suggestion. Can we spell it? Okay, E, G, P, T, Y, and then the center of the circle is T. We're almost easy. Baller. No, it's cool, okay. So, yeah, that's out of respect. Okay, so we do angle one equals arc DG plus arc YP all over two. What's another term for when you add up two things and divide it by two? Anyone know? When you add up two things and divide by two? Division. It's also called taking the, yeah. The average. Yeah, it's the average. Uh, you guys, I want to just encourage you, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Yeah, I know it's like <coughs> kind of fun with the camera running and everything. Please, please, don't be afraid to make mistakes, and I'll make that same promise to you the way I live my life. No fear of making mistakes. We got a question here. So average is always going to divide by two, not the like the number of things. Right, right. We're we're averaging two things. So in this case, we're dividing by two. Okay. We Let's go ahead and do numbers. Excuse if me. If we were averaging four things, would we divide by four? Right, right. In this case, we're only dividing by two. So indeed, okay. we're averaging two arcs. Let's go ahead and do numbers. Let's and do. We're doing the average to do what? To find what angle one is. Okay, with this given information, what I'm going to do and write it a little bigger. We have 130 is the bigger arc, and 70 is the smaller arc. 130, 70. Okay, let's go ahead and solve for angle one. Angle one equals 130 plus what? 70, 70 over 2 is? Uh, 200 over 2. 200 over 2 is? 100. 100 degrees. Okay. There you go. So that's is that the same as uh, temp 4? No. No. no, because that's inscribed. You're talking about inscribed angles. Inscribed angles would be something like this. This angle here. Oh. Okay? okay. This angle is inside, and it's not central. Okay? It's inside. It's not on the edge, and it's not in the middle. It's floating in the middle. Please. The 
angle that's on the right to one that isn't numbered, yep. would that be the same as one? Correct. What are those angles called? Uh, <laughs> These two. Uh, vertical. Very good. Vertical angles. Vertical angles. So this would also be 100 as well. 100 here. And then what would be supplementary up from top and bottom? 80 and 80. 80 and 80. Question over there, please. Nice and loud. Do you know which two angles to always add in order to Good job. average up? The angles that, that uh, result, how do you know which arcs? Yeah, you're saying? which arcs. The arcs that result as a form of the angles. Notice. Angle one, what arc does it lead to? This one. Mm -hmm. And angle one, like we mentioned here, is also the same as this one vertically. And so it's this arc too. The flashlight the arcs of the angle that is presented. Yeah, they are the arcs that are attached to the vertical angles. Okay. Again, the arcs that are attached to the vertical angles. And I can see these have a relationship. Angle one has a relationship with this arc. Flashlight, you know, it's like shining its light over here. And subsequently, because this is the same, it shines onto this smaller arc as well. And so we take the average of those two. And it's always going to be the average of two. It's never going to be like... Always, always average of two. Only two. Yeah, because there's only two arcs in question. Good job. Yes? I'm a little bit confused on the rules because it's not central or uh, right. inscribed. Right. Um, so central angles are always what What relationship to the arcs? The same. The same. Very good. Inscribed angles. That's Let's odd. go ahead and add that in right now right quick. <coughs> Notice I have 70 and to here, this angle. This angle inscribes 70. How much is it? 35. 35. And now, new rule for angles that are neither. So are central. we just adding a line? No. I, I did it for, for teaching purposes. Okay. We're talking about angles that are neither central nor inscribed. Now just floating inside somewhere. Okay. Okay? All right? So how do we find the... Uh, you have to just know what it looks like. So if I you had a circle like this, This angle here, central? No. 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 Inscribed? No. No. Floaty patoty? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Roll. Floaty patoty. <laughs> okay. I want to give you another rule, and then we'll do some practice. Okay. So draw another circle, please. All right. Now, now it looks like a dude with a mask running away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eyes. So let's define some terms. So far, every line that we've talked about are called secant lines. Secants are basically chords that also can extend outside the circle. Right? They're lines that go through the circle at two points. Right? So the, the circles that we did before um, with the floaty patoti, the ones that you just wrote, those are also secant lines. They happen to be chords. So here's the next rule, angle one. Okay. Now let's do, uh, let's do pharaoh. P. <laughs> H A R. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know we're missing another letter, but it's okay. Angle one. Now, do you agree, at least by sight, that angle one has a relationship with these two arcs? There's a relationship. Okay. Before, the relationship was. You add them, and you divide by 2. Any guesses what you do now? You yeah? Add, you add them and divide by 4. No, good guess, though. No? Add them and multiply by 2. Another good guess. These are very good, because you have no, no pre-existing knowledge of this stuff, so these are all good guesses. Let oh, me try to oh. play around with the language. One oh. more guess. Go. Um, add them and divide by 7. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where do you get seven? Because there's seven <laughs> angles. Okay, that's another good guess then. I stand corrected. Yeah. Okay, add them and. No, subtract them and divide by two. Yeah. Wow, you found it. 
Yeah, I was just going to say, last time you added them and divide by two, what do you think you do now? So yeah, yeah, subtract them and divide by two. So let's go ahead and just do numbers off the bat. So let's give this a uh, 120. And let's give this maybe 40. That person was looking at you funny. <laughs> Uh, 40, well, you know, I want to take off 40 because it's going to result in something that's not uh, ideal. Let's do 50. Let's do 50. Okay. All right, here we go. Now we subtract big minus small over 2 equals 120 minus 50 is 70 over 2 is 35 degrees. Angle 1, 35 degrees. Okay, questions on that? Yes. Okay, so I'm just like phrasing it, right? Yeah. So to get the arc, you add. And to get the smallest angle, you subtract. Okay. okay, I'm glad you're bringing it up because you read my mind. Let's put up, I'm going to put it up over here because we already did the math 35 degrees. Should we be drawing the second thing? This is a little key for you. we know if to add or subtract? Exactly the question. Here's a trick that works for me and some other teachers. If you look inside here, it's kind of like a plus. They meet inside at an X. <laughs> so it's a plus no matter how you cut it. And if you look here, if you orient it, it won't be a plus. It's more like minus signs if you look closely. So if they meet inside, we're thinking plus. If they if they meet outside, we're thinking minus. What if the lines go for A question here, I'll come back to you. Yes. What if when they're inside, yep. and you have the arc, and you want to get the angles? If they're inside like this? Yeah. Okay. Add angle one equals this arc plus this arc divided by two. Okay. Angle one equals this arc plus this arc divided by two. First example we did. Going down the line, yes? So you called. The first example you called that finding the average. Yeah. What would you call the subtracting? This I don't believe it has a name, but I was just trying to make it familiar with, by using the term average. Okay. Question here. Yeah. Um. <coughs> what if the lines extend further? Like, if the lines extend. Eventually. At, no, the top one. If they extend well, out of the well, circle. Well, the action is where they meet up. And if they meet up in the circle, then we're adding. Okay. But they can extend as long as you want. It won't matter. <coughs> Question here? Is it possible that we're going to have to do the problem in reverse where we're giving the angle? And yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Are we doing that in this? Okay. Okay. I'm going to give it a whirlsies. It won't be so bad. So that one would be subtract. This would be okay. subtract. Yeah. So you notice minus signs-ish. The only reason I didn't draw them as minus signs here, I wanted it to be completely aligned with this. So let's say you had a 100, and let's say this was 10 degrees x. Okay. So what's the relationship of the angle and the two arcs? Yes? So wouldn't you do uh, 10? Yes. Uh, plus? No. No, equals? Equals, yes. X plus 100? Or 100 plus X? 100 minus X. Good correction. 100 Sorry. minus X. Um, uh, so you would uh, subtract 100? Oh, over divided two. by 2. Sorry. Right, good, you guys. Over 2. And now what do we do to both sides? Uh, times by 2. Multiply by 2. Again, the setup is the most important. The angle equals big arc minus small arc divided by 2. And now I'm sure you can set up this. So you have 20 equals 100 
minus x, subtract, subtract 100 on both sides, negative 80 equals negative x, Divide by negative multiply one. both sides by negative 1, x equals 80, so the arc is 80. <coughs> cool? Cool. All right, let's do... Well, I, I do the other one. I won't, I won't, I won't. Would the other one be the same kind of concept but with addition? Yep. Okay. Yep. The angle inside equals either adding or subtracting. The angle inside equals adding these two, divide by two. The angle equals subtracting these two, divided by two. But the, the um, question wouldn't be possible if we didn't know either of the um, parts, right? Right. You have to know one of them. You have to know something. Yeah, you have to know two out of the three things. Two out of the three things. Okay. Uh, yeah, may I? Slow. <laughs> Slow. Okay. One more. And we can pick this up another time. Okay? If you don't get this rule right away, it's okay. Now we're talking about a line that doesn't go through two times as I adjust my headgear. It's called a tangent. It hits at one point. One point. Yes. Yeah. Um, what if the lines go outside the circle, but it goes through the diagonal? Like, they're going through the center. That would be a secant line, because it hits Does twice. It add, okay. As long as it hits twice. Secant, there's a line but that hits the what, circle twice. What if it's like, so you have, you don't have the arc? Yeah. And the lines go, um, like, they go through the center? Yeah. And they, what's the word? In, uh, inscribe? Yeah. So you would still count even though it goes, like, you'd still say that the angle would Something be... Like that? You don't have to draw it. I'm just trying to adjust yeah, your like, question. Like, the angle would always be half This is inscribed. Yeah, this is inscribed here. It goes outside. doesn't matter. Right. Okay. And these are two secant lines. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what if it went through the middle? It, it would be a... Secant line. A secant line, but what to... Uh, what to... Uh, arcs would you add together and divide by two if it was the, went through the middle? This and this, you know. This and that. So that would be a subtraction one. What if it was just one line? Then you don't have any of these problems. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, last one right quick. We can do this here and that. Okay, this is a secant, this is a tangent, tangent, this is a tangent here. And this rule is, very simply, works just like inscribed angles. This angle is half of the arc <coughs> it creates, half of the arc it creates. Okay, see this arc here? Let's call it uh, 140. So it'll be 70. So the angle created by the secant and tangent is indeed 70. Okay? And now observe, this will be the last thing we do here. <clears throat> what angle is supplementary to 70 on the other side of the tangent line? 110. 110, very good. And what's the rest of the circle from 140? 360 minus 140. Um, two, <laughs> 220. 220, yeah. <laughs> and notice the 110 is also half of 220 as well. Oh. Okay. All right, you guys, give yourselves a hand. Yay! Yay. Run in place, run in place. Okay, you can hit it. Bye.